Right, brief video. I've just arrived off the bus, the number 28 from Taunton to Bicknoller, Quantock Hills, Church Lane. Um, because um, you can only use your bus pass off peak, that means I had to get a 27 minutes past nine train from Weston to Taunton. Then only had to wait five minutes minutes to get the bus so it's a pretty good pickup but then the we just got out of Taunton and the bus well it didn't break down what happened I think a, a luggage door was left open the driver didn't seem to know what why it wouldn't go the somebody contacted him and um, obviously it's, they're all connected up to computers these um, buses now they were able to tell him to go and shut the luggage uh, door at the back. He'd done that and we were alright. Got here at um, 10.46. Hour later than usual. Well, three quarters of an hour later than usual. It's a year ago, this week, that um, I came out here. Now today isn't supposed to be so hot. And there's going to be some cloud and some breeze. So I'm quite happy with that. I'd rather come out here in these conditions than baking hot. There's some interesting flowers. Look at them. Interesting. So I thought I'd do a quick video. Because I've just got off the bus. Um, at the moment, he said, even though it, he say the buses are every half an hour, he said COVID restrictions sort of is, are te make it all temperamental, but they roughly are on the hour anyway. He said, um, so, I th yeah, I think he said after half past five that they're every hour, which is right. Yeah, so basically, um, private, yeah, I'm going up through the village, I'm just doing another quick video, I did it a year ago, of course, um, I'm hoping to get to Old Foxton House, that's the plan today, but I have got to go up a very steep hill, out of this village. It's very steep. They all are out of this valley, all steep. <sighs> they do little, um, you never know, I might get one on the way back, on the way home. I might buy a jar of jelly, of uh, jam. The Bic Canola Inn. Oh yeah, I remember that. That little um, 3D thing. Yeah, I remember that. There's the hills up there. Pub Car Park. The Bic Canola Inn. There we go. It's thatch roof. Look. Like I said, it was done last year. I can see the church, which I've also done before, in and out. So I'm not going to do that today. The aim today is to get to Old Foxton House and back. Um, I've got my hat. And I will be taking this um, light jumper off. Eventually. I suppose it could reach 26 degrees today, they said. So there's the church. We just walk up a little bit near it. And then I'll turn off. Yeah, so it wasn't really a bad journey. Half an hour on the train, half an hour on the bus. It's an hour to get here. Um, Basically, when I drive, it's probably about an hour as well. 
so it's, it's about the same so I don't have to drive so there's the church I'm going to turn off now everyone hold on I'll just go past the big tree just to get a picture of the, the church. There it is. <sighs> Over and out. Another quick video. I've just been in the little shop, which is um, just adjacent to Hill Lane. There's a little shop there. There's a little village hall. Um, he let me borrow the key to use the ladies. And up there, that's where I've got to go, up there. Now, I've climbed, I've climbed Brent Knoll the other week, you know, I mean, I know I can do these things. I've got two cartons of orange juice as well. I'm going to have one when I get up off this lane. Before I start my climb, I'm going to drink one of my oranges. I've got another one for later, and three bottles. Two bottles of still, and one bottle of sprinkly. If, for any chance, I run out of water... And when I get back here, I just knock on someone's door. But, uh, or the church might have a water tap. There's always a way around it. The pub might be open, you know. Okay, we're an hour later than what it was before. And I remember, I'm not going up Weakham this time. Weakham Coombe. Um, it was a lovely walk. I haven't decided whether I'm coming down it. It depends on the time. I might really just have to... I want to go straight down Holford Glen. So I don't want to be in a rush when I'm doing that bit. I want to enjoy it. And usually, my walks at the start, there's no pressure. Um, it is quite breezy, but it will be still in the coombs. So I've got a bit of a climb now, everyone. Daisy's eggs. Two pound for a dozen. A pound for half a dozen. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, that sounds about right. Right, so there we go, folks. I'm just going to turn off. It's short videos. Video. Soon got up the little lane. Just met a man and a young girl. And I'm at Bick Noller Hill. So basically, I'm going to go up a little bit further. He said it's going to be wet, muddy, but warm. I thought of that, actually. That the... Look how wet this is down here. I was just thinking about the glen that I'm going to go down through. How uh, I might be jumping streams sooner than I think. Still, water flows down, it's probably wetter. I wasn't feeling 100% when I got up this morning. I didn't sleep very well. I had about two and a half hours of sleep, actually. Um, I'm often like that if I know I'm going out on a train or a bus, though. Usually, and it's, I've got to get up early. I think I had two and a half hours of sleep. I didn't fall asleep till about half past two and I was awake by five. Then I had terrible stomach ache for... Well, I was even worried when I was walking towards the railway station whether I should go at all. But it seemed to be settling. So I'm just doing a small video. Little small videos. This is Bicknoller Hill. I'm at the start of the climb. I'm going to get up around the corner, there might be another gate and that's where I'm going to stop and have my orange juice and take my jumper off over and out then now entering Quantock Hills 
area of outstanding natural beauty. There's a big sort of quarry area in behind there. I didn't bother looking this time. It's on a previous video that I'd done a year ago. I'm now at, really also entering what's called Tickland. <laughs> um, I don't think I've had any bites for a year of ticks. So that's a great possibility today. Unfortunately. <sighs> yeah. I, I suppose I might be I might be coming back that way. I could still end up coming back down this way at the end. I haven't it all depends on time. Because obviously it's very quick coming straight down here as opposed to going down Weakham Coombe. It's very, very beautiful. This is a quite a long, steady upward climb. Um, if you come to the Quantox, this is what it's all about. Up and down. Streams. <sighs> Lovely trees. And <sighs> beauty and beauty. Right then, I'll turn off again. I'm not I'm only doing sh very short videos and then piecing them together because I am going uphill and I might have sometimes a longer break than others. Um, I'm not doing too bad but just to remind people as usual <clears throat> that at the start of my walks I'm fully laden. I've got three bottles. One, two stills, one spring and two orange cartons. Not big ones, mini ones. And when I get up there with that stump, I'm going to stop, take my jumper off and drink a carton. My kidneys are working well. I managed to use the ladies in the village hall back there. So there's no urgency for anything. So, steep banks. So I've just come up from there already, making progress. Lots of ferns here, loads of ferns, loads of adders probably. A bit further and I'm going to stop. Let me see. It's a pity there's not a bus from Holford, isn't it, back to Bridgewater. Such a pity. I really can't understand why well, there's not a bus service for the people of Bridgewater to get out here. I really can't understand it. Right, over and out.